What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 16.6.1 just a couple of weeks before the big release of iOS 17. So in this video, we're going to cover what's new and also what to expect next. Now along with this release, Apple also released iPadOS 16.6.1, watchOS 9.6.2, and macOS Ventura 13.5.2. And we're going to talk about all of those updates in this video, but of course we're going to focus on iOS 16.6.1. So you can see the size of this update came in at a very small 205 megabytes on my iPhone 13 Pro, which was on iOS 16.6 beforehand. So if we head over into our settings to check out the build number, the new build number is 20G81. And if we go back and go down to the modem firmware, that remains at 3.80.01. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.6.1? And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know by now that a double point update, a 0.6.1, means that we're not going to see any new features or changes. Everything that's changed is going to be on the back Back end in the form of bug fixes and security enhancement security fixes and that's exactly what we got with iOS 16.6.1 and iPad OS 16.6.1 so if we take a look at Apple's security page you can see that we have two vulnerabilities that were being actively exploited so the first one is an image IO bug so the impact was processing a maliciously crafted image may lead to arbitrary code execution Apple is aware of a report that this issue may May have been actively exploited and then they handled this buffer overflow with improved memory handling and then we have another one that's been actively exploited related to the wallet so this is a maliciously crafted attachment may result in arbitrary code execution and Apple fixed this with improved logic and what's interesting here is take a look at the CVE under wallet it just says Apple that seems pretty rare I don't remember the last time I've seen Apple being credited for finding and fixing a bug like this however they did give additional recognition to the citizen lab at the university of toronto's monk school for their assistance and if we take a look at the same security notes for watchOS 9.6.2 which was also released today you can see that we have the same bug and the same fix for it right here and this is available for series 4 and later and then if we go over to mac os ventura 13.5.2 we have that same image io bug so processing a maliciously crafted image may lead to arbitrary code execution it's the same cve that we saw with ios and ipad os 16.6.1 so if you are still on ios 16 you absolutely need to update to 16.6.1 to keep your device and your information as protected as possible even though we have ios 17 dropping in a couple of weeks you should still update because you never know what could happen now i did also want to point out that for some reason we still do not have the contact key verification so if i go ahead and search for contact key verification and settings you can see that nothing comes up so if you remember on previous versions of iOS 16 you know 16.6 I believe or 16.5 we saw this show up in the settings briefly for just one beta version and then after that it was gone for good so this is a feature that Apple said was going to be here by the end of the year but it looks like we're not getting it with iOS 16 so maybe it's going to be in iOS 17 after all and when it comes to the performance and the battery life with 16.6.1 again since this is just a bug fix and security fix update I would not expect any improvements whatsoever for either the performance or the battery life. However, I did still go ahead and run a Geekbench 6 test and I scored a 2043 on the single core and a 4717 on the multi core on this device. And again, when it comes to battery life, don't expect any improvements here. However, most people on iOS 16 at this stage on 16.6 .6, have not really had any issues with battery life. It's still better than what we have on iOS 17 at the moment. Okay, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple because iOS 16 is about over with because we're getting iOS 17 RC next week so next week is going to be Apple's big September event where they unveil the iPhone 15 and more that's going to be right there on Tuesday the 12th I will also be live streaming the events here on YouTube so make sure you are subscribed and tune in to that live stream now after we get that RC we should get pre-orders for the iPhones on the 15th and then if history is any indication we should see the final version of iOS 17 released to the public right there on Monday the 18th however I do have to say that it really could come any day from the 18th through the 21st because if we get the new iPhones on the 22nd that means we have to have iOS 17 on our device before then 
because those devices will ship with iOS 17. So expect iOS 17 in just under two weeks. Now, when it comes to iOS 16, if you're going to stay on 16.6.1, you know, if you're going to stay on iOS 16 in general and not update to iOS 17, you will see a 16.7, most likely probably at the end of September, potentially in early October. Now, last year when Apple released 15.7, it was just the RC release and then the final release after that. So no beta testing for that version. And that iOS 16.7 release could technically have the contact key verification in it since it will be a single point update. But I'm guessing that Apple is still waiting for iOS 17 to release that feature. But as far as if you should update to iOS 16.6.1, I say absolutely. If you're on iOS 16 still, you need to update to 16.6.1 just because of those security patches and the fact that they were being actively exploited out in the wild means that you should update to keep your device as secure as possible. But honestly, in my opinion, I think that once iOS 17 releases, everybody should go ahead and update to iOS 17 because it's such an awesome update. Unless you're into jailbreaking and things like that, you might want to stay on 16. But I think for most people, you're going to want to go ahead and update to iOS 17. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. That is iOS 16.6.1, a very minor bug fix and security fix update. If you enjoyed this short video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 17 coverage coming very soon. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.